what is a hard pill to swallow but makes everything easier once you do. This little dude who couldn't have been older than 13, actually went band for band with me. I spend my morning stuffing grocery bags with kale for anorexic suburban moms, but I spent every night at the skate park. I'm there with 14 other dudes where we're either dislocating our shoulders from trying to grind a railing or hitting blinkers behind a ramp. It isn't exactly Disney World for kids, so you can imagine my surprise when this kid came in with so much gusto and dapped me up. This kid had the type of confidence to talk to anybody in the skate park and instantly gain their respect. Everybody was chill with him, except for Joel. While Joel is really good at skating, he peaked in high school and never recovered. None of us are really cool with him but he's so demented we'd never kick him out of the skate park. But we really should have when this literal decaying grown man went up to this child and accused him of posing. The kid laughed him off and just skated around him, and Joel, thinking that he was mocking him, kicked his own skateboard toward the kid, making him fall and busting his head. At that point, we intervened and screamed at Joel asking if he took his meds today. But the kid just got up and told us that he didn't get hurt. Joel grabbed his board and ran home calling the kid a loser. I went to go check on the kid, but he just took off his helmet and said he needed to go get it polished. That's when I noticed that all of his gear was the best of the best, only the type someone like Rodney Mullen would use. I asked him where he got all that stuff from and he said he bought it with his money and left. From that day on, I tried to keep my eye on him, but not in the creepy boy lover way. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't involved in some type of gang violence. But this kid spent all his time at the park, just like I did. I only saw him leave when his parents spammed his phone about violating curfew. One time, I saw his parents pick him up from the park in a rundown Toyota, while he wore Gucci socks and Nike clothes. I couldn't understand how he could afford that. Weeks later I saw the kid pull a nollie flip, and I almost lost it. I've been trying to do one for my entire life, and this kid did it in a few months. I thought it was cool, but Joel took offense to this kid showing off. His bright idea was to smash the kid's board. Remarkably, the kid didn't even waver. All he said was, had the tables been turned, it'd take you five paychecks to replace your board. You're not hurting me. I swear to God this kid has no enemies. After Joel left, I went up to the kid and just asked him if he was an illegitimate kid of the Rothschild family. He told me nah I just work really hard. I told him I could work just as hard at my grocery store and still wouldn't be able to afford the stuff he has. I wanted to know what he really does. This dude sat me down and asked to see my stock portfolio. I told him I didn't have one, and that was my first mistake. He opened up his phone and showed me that he made thousands from investing in Tesla, Nvidia, and craziest of all Roblox stock. He said that all he did after school and every summer break was use Bloom Learn to invest. He was obsessed with it and taught himself about building a stock portfolio and how to grow his allowances. He told me that my money was just sitting there in my bank account when it could be growing itself. I couldn't believe this kid had more financial responsibility than anyone I knew. He asked me for my phone number and sent me a referral link to download Bloom. When I downloaded it, I heard his phone buzz. All he told me was thanks for the quick buck and then walked away. To see someone so young achieve his goals at such a young age was so inspiring to me. It wasn't only because he was smart. What mattered was his work ethic. He was grinding on Bloom every day and was able to learn more than most people pay thousands for in college. I stopped going to the skate park after that and started my Bloom journey instead. I woke up early every morning to put in an hour on the Bloom app, did it during my breaks at work, and would go at it after work. I never thought I was this disciplined before, I think it's because it was so easy to learn stocks, it felt like a game to me. I stopped dating because that used to be my biggest expense, but it's okay because if I got my money up, I could afford to take the girls I actually care about on better dates instead of going to raising canes every time. After 6 months, I made my first 800 bucks. Once I did that, it was all up from there everything clicked. I made money every morning during stock market hours and made enough consistently to go to my grocery store job for fun and laugh at those pretentious customers. As for that kid, I owe everything to him. Seriously. Kid if you're reading this, I hope we meet down the road so I can properly. Thank you. I went from bagging groceries to getting groceries delivered from Erewhon because of you.